I've drawn the flowers and I've masked them out with masking fluid. I will put a link in the description below all about masking fluid if you haven't heard of it or used it before. This is cadmium yellow pale and permanent yellow, the colours that I used in my previous tutorial. I've wet the paper with clean water and now I'm painting with my size 14 round brush, wet in wet with these two yellows. And now I'm using quinacridone gold. You could use raw sienna and I'm painting this in wet into wet just to create a lovely atmospheric background. As you saw there, I added a little bit of ultramarine to the quinacridone gold and now I am mixing up red and yellow together to make a nice bright orangey colour working damp into damp. I'm also using my small round brush here working damp into damp mixing up the yellow with a pinch of ultramarine. If you check out the colour mixing video, you'll see I painted and mixed a lot of yellow greens and this is exactly what I'm doing here. I've mixed up some ultramarine here with quinacridone gold to create a dark green and I'm finishing off this first stage with a sprinkle of table salt and I let it dry naturally. So as you can see here my painting has dried. I've wet it again with a large flat soft haired brush and I'm now just painting in some dilute yellow quinacridone gold and some ultramarine mixed with quinacridone gold and now I'm using a little bit more quinacridone gold here slightly thicker still quite dilute and now I'm adding a little bit of the cadmium yellow pale with a touch of the Prussian blue so it's a yellow green painting wet into wet. I've now mixed up a little bit of Prussian blue and burnt umber and I'm painting this damp into wet so it's quite creamy into a wet surface there to create lovely dark tonal values. So I've allowed the painting to dry again. I'm using my size 4 brush and I'm painting wet on dry with a mix of the Prussian blue with a little bit of the cadmium yellow light. I'm going to work my way around here painting the stems and the back of the flowers there sort of going in between the different sort of greens and again if you check out the video and even do a little colour chart you can decide on the sort of greens that you want to use but I'm sort of starting off with lighter and mid-tone greens trying to vary them as well using the different yellows and the different blues. I did lots of stems in with my small size 2 brush and I'm finishing off this second stage with a spatter of quinacridone gold. I've allowed the painting to dry and as you can see I've removed the masking tape as well as the pencil lines and it really has brought the painting to life. And I'm just going to start painting the centres here using the yellows, the quinacridone gold and the cadmium yellow pale and permanent yellow along with a little sort of hint of possibly a little bit of burnt umber, touch of red and maybe even a little bit of green. And I'm using my size 6 brush also to paint the yellow flowers using some of the permanent yellow or the cadmium yellow light. As you can see here, I'm using a slightly darker green now. You could use the ultramarine with quinacridone gold or the Prussian blue with quinacridone gold. It cre they both create some really lovely dark greens. And I'm using my size 4 brush to create these greens. Just working my way through, creating some darks on the stems.
just painting some darks around the edge of the centre of the flowers there using my size 4 brush and it's a mixture of the burnt umber and the quinacridone gold. So I'm just building up the details now, working light to dark, sort of really finessing the centres using my size 2 brush there, putting some darks there to really bring the flowers to life. I've decided to paint some shadows on the petals of the flowers using a dilute wash of ultramarine with a touch of red. It's a really good shadow colour. I'm also going to put it on the petals of the yellow flowers. I'm using some of the cadmium yellow light and just painting on top of the centre of the flowers just to introduce a little bit more light. I felt I lost a little bit of my light. So I've decided to use some gouache and you might find this helpful, especially if you've lost the light on your flowers or if you haven't been able to use any masking fluid. So I'm using my size 4 brush and just sort of tidying up the petals really. They may have got splashed or something like that. So it's a really great way of finishing off. I tend only to use white gouache towards the end of the painting. If you don't have any white gouache, you could use white watercolour or white acrylic paint or ink as well and it's quite useful and I've added a little bit of white to my yellow just to brighten up some of those yellow petals as well. I'm finishing off with a spatter of white paint. You can use a little bit of the yellow mixed with white, yellow on its own, or even a limey green, the Prussian blue and the yellow, just to create some little bit of sparkle and texture to finish off the painting. Here is the finished painting. If you would like to get access to the extended tutorial with lots more voiceover, check out the Patreon link in the description below. And if you'd like to get access to my weekly exclusive watercolour tutorials, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? Details about the membership can be found in the description below, but you'll also get access to my downloadable outline sketches and ad-free content. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Happy painting. Bye for now.